because we just saw with Jeannie Buss, we saw Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, we saw Magic Johnson point out, Max, that little girls everywhere, you have three little girls, can now look up to Jeannie Buss and say, I can be an owner. She was the first ever female owner to win a championship. Now we potentially have Jennifer Lopez, who is also a minority on top of that. How important would that be for the city and for sports in general to open that door to her? Especially not just female, Puerto Rican yeah. female in New York City. It's, you know, it's perfect. Um, let, let's put it this way. In terms of the symbolism of things and how that matters, <clears throat> my eldest daughter who plays basketball out, you know, they grow fast at this age, she's almost 12, outgrew her basketball sneaker. Mm -hmm. So we're looking online last night for new sneakers. So we're looking at KDs and Kyries and all this, and I'm thinking, wait a minute. The Seattle Storm just won that WNBA championship. They got a slew of stars on that team. Do they have any, you know, Sue Birds or, mm -hmm. right, Bri Brianna Stewart's or something like that? No, they don't. Sue Bird has one collab with, with Kyrie. There are no WNBA kicks. There are lots of little girls who play basketball. And by the way, even though you think, no, little boys wouldn't want them, if you make a fresh sneaker, people will buy it, period, mm -hmm. right? And, and there are none. And you think that stuff doesn't make a difference? It does. It, does. it really does. If you see no examples mm -hmm. of someone like you in a certain position, it sends a powerful message, even if it's subliminal or, or not conscious, it sends a powerful message that this isn't for you. So I think it, it has significance, yes. If anyone can speak to that, it's Stephen A, being a black man. Absolutely. But I will tell you this. I love me some J-Lo. And i become friends with A-Rod, and I got love for him, and I wish that they were the new owners of the New York Mets. Mm -hmm. Here's where I veer left, and I turn against this idea. Okay. I do not like the fact that Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York City, would have anything to do with that. In other words... You knew that SAC Financial, mm -hmm. Steve Cohen's company, had pled guilty to securities and wire fraud when he was in pursuit of the team all of these months. You step in at that particular moment in time and you nix it. If you weren't in a way while negotiations were going on all this time, okay, to come in the back door now and say, halt. That's not right. But I think it's yeah. I think it's the law. And my thing is, why should Cohen be rewarded I, for well, having I, poor behavior? What, then again, it's the privilege. Well, well, well. Again, we talk about his company, not him. So again, that that plays a role into you, it's it's wire fraud and all that stuff. But you were negotiating for the Mets all this time. So if you said if if you had a problem with him, step in while the negotiations going on and tell the Mets you need to find a new owner. You don't need to do this guy because he has this on his record. To sit up there and allow this negotiation to take place for months, if not years, to let it go through, knowing all of that stuff for the MLB owners to approve it as well. And then you, the mayor of New York City, who a lot of people got questions about his damn self, by the way, to then come in and say, well, you know what, we're going to nix that because of this security, you know, this wire fraud and all of that stuff. I don't like that. If you wanted, if you had a problem with it, have a problem with it from day one when they're negotiating. Tell the Mets, you not get somebody else. Yeah. Sell a team to somebody else because I'm not going to approve this guy. Okay, so let me ask you this. But what sure. about the symbolism? Being a New Yorker, being a minority, having little girls, we, of having a minority female owner in sports. There's 150 North American franchises. There's uh, Shad Khan and Michael Jordan. Yes. And that's it. Well, first of all, We've already spoke about this on First Take. We know that I'm in complete support of J-Lo and A-Rod owning this team. I wanted them to own this team. I talked about the symbolism of J-Lo being an owner in Major League Baseball. I happen to know she wants to do it. She mm -hmm. wants to be. She wishes she was in that position. Well, I got all of that. All I'm saying is, is that MLB knew that. Mayor Bill de Blasio knew that. Steve Cohen knew that. The Will Ponds knew that. Yet all of these negotiations were going on all this time. The fact that everybody in baseball signs off on this and then Bill de Blasio gets to come in and say, excuse me, you got a lease with the city. As a result, this guy, his company's got a felony record. So guess what? I'm going to nix I'll that. I'll say this. That's, that's a bad precedent One of the me. hard things about athletes or celebrities owning teams is you know their equity stake in the, in the purchase is not going to be what these hedge fund guys are. They don't have the same kind of money. That's right. They have tens of millions and even sometimes hundreds, but not billions, although right. sometimes these hedge fund guys are very leveraged and don't actually have the billions either, yes. right? Um, 
Magic Johnson fronted the group that bought the Dodgers. Yeah. Yes. Right? So that's, that's minority ownership, although if he clearly fronted the group. His mm -hmm. equity stake himself wasn't the same, although his celebrity, his personal relationships absolutely seemed to help with the purchase. Derek and Jeter. And J-Lo's would, too. And sure. they're in the World Derek, Series. Derek Jeter in, in Miami, and he was criticized, right? But... Um, and clearly his equity stake, and he made hundreds of millions of dollars, but was not what it would be from a billionaire owning, the, like, you know, putting a billion dollars, or, uh, right. And yet, how did it work out for the Dodgers with Magic fronting the group? They're in the World Series. They're not an up 1-1. They're in the playoffs every year. How's it worked out with Derek Jeter so far, who took a lot of criticism? He's leveraged, and he's trying to do this and trying to do that. I know they expanded the playoffs. And I think the Mets Miami will win with J-Lo and a -Rod. Miami made the playoffs. So, I, so, so the idea that, no, there's someone who's kind of more financially able to get it done, I don't know if I buy that. And, and I, think I. It would, I think the symbolism and the kind of, uh, um, the kind of sense that mm -hmm. it would give people, if, if J-Lo and A-Rod were to buy the team, there is value in that. Whether or not that's the best ownership group and that's the best re or that's even the reason that's to do it, the there point. is value in it. That, yeah, but to me, that's not the point. The point is politics is getting involved when you get to pick. Excuse me, you don't get to own the team after all of this is going on. That's a dangerous precedent to send. Yep. That's all I'm saying. Yep. I would love J-Lo to own no, the Mets. of course. But that yeah, president, I, I he, ain't tell you for he ain't rejecting uh, Cohen. Yeah, for women everywhere, it, it would mean a lot. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.